What's going on everybody? It is I, Strix, and welcome back to more Marvel Snap, and today I'm playing my Hulkamania deck. Uh, this is my uh, deck featuring the new series card, the Red Hulk. Um, his new his ability is, if my opponent has any unspent energy, he gets plus five, four, something. Forget the exact number, but he gets mu he gets buffer uh, every time. I pretty I'm pretty sure it's plus four actually. Um, so yeah, I put I decided you know what I have a couple Hulks in my uh, in uh, the high evolutionary deck. Let's just put them in there. So and it's, along with some big heavy guys like the Abomination, Fang, um, all using unspent energy. So. I figured, why not have him in there as well? See, the thing is, though, I've learned that the Hulk in general, or the Red Hulk in general, is just a card that can fit into pretty much any deck. It forces my opponent to um, really decide, okay, does he want to play out all of his energy? Like, uh, you know, be, like, like I think the term is tempo, like, fill, uh, fulfilled tempo throughout the deck. Or, does my opponent want to... Um, how, how you say this? Uh, he, does he want to... Uh, decide, okay, I'm, I don't have any of the moves, but I should be able to watch out for the Red Hulk. So it's like playing a little, playing a little couple mind games up in the game, you know? Uh, just uh, so we can have that out there. Alright, so let's see what's going on here. A lot of, I see a lot of ongoing cards here. I uh, don't know if this is a bot or it's a real person. Uh, but, yeah, we have Mojo, Colossus. Honestly, I know Mojo is a, a viable card. I see the use for him. I just... I've never played really. I've never really played him. I just don't see the need to do so. Interesting, he's playing Namor. Okay, I see. I see where you're going with that. I feel like Namor is also a card that um, is there. Okay, hey, hey, let's stop this. Okay, I feel like, given the current state of the most recent um, updates going on, uh, like you know, hits the cards like Sandman and Zabu, that ongoing cards are starting to die and wear out I think that very clearly I, th I do think that's a uh, possibility because um, you know it's just starting now with cards like um, I know right now it's starting with cards like uh, like Zabu Zabu changed from an ongoing to an on reveal and then they're also they also changed Sandman like I said I don't think you know I feel like some ongoing cards are just falling off the wayside and you know, not doing any doing any good now. And even cards like that help against ongoing cards, I don't even see being used as often because really what cards are there to be st stealing that are re really powerful? Not saying that there aren't any really good powerful ongoing cards, but it feels like that's the direction that they're trying to do. But it could also just be, um, you know, certain cards have, have being too powerful, right? Obviously, there's still like you know the OG, uh, what's his name, Iron Man. Iron Man is always um, a, one of the cards that is a, just really good to have, like uh, in, in, in a deck if you have the right setup. Onslaught as well, but I feel like they're all kind of situated into a very specific niche. Um, whereas cards like Zabu and Sandman had like a vi like. Like had a lot of utility. There's a lot of different decks that kind of use both both those cards, Zabu especially, and the fact that they're turning it into a on reveal one turn use. Um, I don't know. Makes me feel like they're gonna be falling off the wayside somehow. Although there are some pretty, you know, there are you know ongoing cards that I feel like just are there and not a lot of people use. You know, like I just recently got the U.S. Agent, and my God. I know that U.S. Agent is meant to be like the uh, like another version of um, what you call that card, uh, Man Thing, but I don't know. I, I haven't felt a lot of utility or use for him. Yes, he's a good little deterrent for cards. Minus three is no joke either, but I don't know. I just haven't seen any any plays with you know clutch situations. Like even now, you see how Rogue Rogue goes in and try like. I don't know if they meant to play here and try to steal an ability, but again, like it's not like I think the new thing with certain decks is uh, trigger abilities instead of ongoings. So what I mean by trigger abilities is things that um, like abilities that happen given when a certain um, 
criteria is triggered. So, for example, um, like all the, all the high evolutionary cards, it's usually if a uh, if there's unspent energy, this happens. You know, your basic function. Um, so, like, if there's unspent energy, Misty Knight will give plus one to a card, or my, um, Cyclops will go pew pew to two cards. Uh, like Hope Summers, like, is another one. If uh, a card is played. If you play a card near her location, she, you get plus one energy as well. I think that's the new trigger. That's the new kind of thing that they're doing for a lot of these. Um, it's still pre pretty much a game of on reveals and trigger abilities. And they're using that more um, while the cards like, um, you know, ongoing cards are just falling off the wayside. Like literally, like how many times have they nerfed Zabu like Zabu was so so pog honestly his ability was broken giving minus two to like co like four cost cards I remember being able to have a one cost Wong and that is illegal <laughs> that should be illegal to have a one cost Wong um, you know so who, who truly knows uh, I know that you know it is a balancing act and they are really trying their best to figure out the best way to, you know, appease the general and broader audience um, for both, you know, advanced players and uh, new players as well. It's, it's just really, you know, it's concerning for me because, like, when I see it, like, I, I, li I really love the game and, you know, hopefully it doesn't turn out to be a thing like, where it doesn't have, I don't, I don't want it to be a thing where it just changes so drastically from what it was before to you know a new something new and that's all you know uh, ultimately I just really want to have fun playing the game uh, I want to create and uh, see fun moments happen and yeah I mean I got nothing else to say that so yeah hope you enjoyed these matches <laughs> while I was talking about whether or not ongoings are going extinct so look out for that clickbait title and take care